Welcome to Blackest Widow Tarot. I'm your girl. I'm your host, Nadi. And this is a reading for my Capricorns. We're not going to play around today. We're going to get straight into it. So let's go. Yahweh, I come to you and pray so that you open up my third eye for my Capricorns. Allow me to be front row seat in the drama, in the mess, in all the things that are being hidden from Capricorn. Expose it all to me so that I can expose it all to them. Also, any energies or any entities that may be trying to throw me off or throw the reading off, I ask that you go ahead and send them back to hell where they belong. Ashe. Love and light, abundance and protection. Love and light, abundance and protection. Love and light, abundance and protection. You ready for this Capricorn? Let's get straight into it. We're going to start with some clarification cards and just see what's really going on. Now, let's go. Y'all, as soon as I spit the deck open, we talking about Capricorns. You may be talking to somebody that's also an earth sign, but this person wants to come and take you out on a date. So I really feel like this Valentine's Day, be prepared to step out. Just like you hear that door opening and closing, be prepared to step out. Mm -hmm. And I would advise you to wear all black. So yeah, don't put no red shit on. If you're gonna put some red, if you're gonna put some red on, if you're a woman, put a red lip on. And if you're a man, a red tie, nothing too much. Don't do too much. You can even pin a little rose on whatever shirt that you got on. Don't do too much. Come off sexy. Come off mysterious. Your date is gonna be like, damn, Cappy. Yeah, that's what you want. Mm -hmm. You want to get your back broke, don't it? All right now. All right, baby. What does Capricorn need to know and be aware of? What does Capricorn need to know and be aware of? What do Capricorns need to know and be aware of? What does Capricorn need to know and be aware of? Be careful, Capricorn. If you're having sex with somebody unprotected, stop. Stop. Do you want to have do you want to have a Valentine's Day baby? Do you want to ruin your summer? Because that's exactly what you're going to do. You're being told to please follow your intuition. You will be making a mistake. The red flags are literally here. When it comes to a relationship that you're currently in and you're fucking around unprotected, oh baby, not only are you going to be a single mother, single father, you're going to be struggling with a heartbreak. With a oh, heartbroke, single, doing it all on your own broke because only who's helping you only you gonna be helping yourself and the government but who wants to be on section eight and stuff like that that's just like too much to deal with but yeah if you don't if you don't start taking your health seriously and start making people strap up you're gonna end up pregnant and you're gonna end up broke because you're dealing with a narcissist an Aries Leo or Sagittarius who don't give no fuck about you. And this may not even have to do deal with a child. You can also end up getting an STD because this person is not just fucking you, they're fucking somebody else as well. So you and somebody else may end up pregnant at the same damn time. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Don't be so in lust with this fire sign that you end up pregnant or end up with something and you're going to be left all alone to deal with it. This person that, you, that you're dealing with or you feel like this is for, you know damn well. This person probably already has kids that they haven't even taken care of. They, they don't take care of. So what makes you think that they're going to take care of yours? They're not. They're not. So my advice is strap it up. I don't care. I don't care. I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear. Oh, it was just in a moment. Well, in that moment, you end up ruining your life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, let's see a hidden trick. What's the hidden trick for Capricorn? What's the hidden trick for Capricorn? Woo! What's the hidden trick for Capricorn? What's the hidden trick? I heard split me. Y'all, what I say? I never lie. I never lie. What the cars never lie. What I never lie. Uh, the cars never lie. I done told you what. Yeah, this person is attracted to you. So attracted that they're keeping you on the hook while they with somebody else. Don't fall pregnant. 
at the same damn time as somebody else. As a, and if you're a male, don't get trapped with a woman whose baby ain't even yours because they're fucking around with somebody else. And now you done got you done put yourself at risk of an STD and having to take care of a child that you don't even that you're not even ready to take care of. Be careful. You're dealing with a two timer. You are. This person knows exactly what they're doing as well. Mm -hmm. And don't be, and don't believe the lies that this person loves you unconditionally. No, they don't. Because if they did, they wouldn't be with somebody else behind your back. And for some of you all, y'all know about this person's other lover. And you're choosing to be with this person. And you're going to fuck around and find out. You're going to be left in the dust while this person uh, chooses somebody else based on lust. Try and tell you, all right? This person from the past, you got somebody also from the past that you were once dealing with who wants you to forgive them one day. You can forgive, but never forget. This person wishes that they treated you better. I bet they do. I bet they do. You you met this person when you were, you were younger, you know, probably like some years back or things of that nature. But this person was very childish when you met them. And they still, I feel like they still are childish, so... Lead them where they at. All right. Now, where that card that fell. All right. And also know that this person that you dealt with a long time ago, this person misses you, misses the connection, and they really, they really feel like they fumbled you. They they didn't appreciate you when they had you. And honestly, they wasn't mature enough or even emotionally mature to even you know respect the relationship, appreciate the relationship. They didn't know what they had until it was gone. Now they sitting around trying to find people just like you, but they can't find you and nobody else. Baby, there is only one of you. And this person got to deal with that. <laughs> mm -mm. Be careful now. Don't let nobody from the past back in. I'm trying to tell you. They got nothing to offer you but bullshit. And you may be dealing with a fire sign right now who's full of shit. A two-timer. Mm -hmm. deceptive and you're expressing you're giving this person all your love and attention and they're doing the same thing to somebody else mm -hmm. Give me some, what is the love messages for Capricorn current love messages current relationship what's a current relationship mm. yeah and who gives a fuck about anybody from the past and who gives a fuck about this person this fire sign honestly i really feel like you're being blinded by lust with this person this person makes you feel like you've known them before they know they do everything right right they make you feel good they talk to you and make it, it just everything sound good and feel good with this person there's a lot of passion a lot of sex there fuck around and find out and get pregnant if you want to fuck around and get trapped if you want to i'm just trying to tell you don't fuck around and find out. This person may make you happy, but this person has gotten back with their ex. And I wouldn't even say gotten back with. They probably have or they've always been with their ex. They've always had somebody else. And be careful of somebody from the past wanting to come back like they always do. Girl, boy, send them on their way. Send them packing with the trash that they came with and left with. This fire sign is very controlling. And they're literally two-timing the both of you. They really are. They're codependent. So that means that they're always needing some type of validation from somebody else other than you. So even if this person was single, you couldn't even trust this person to go to work and make money and bring it home. They're going to be flirting with somebody at work. Can't trust them for shit. They picking up eggs at the grocery store, farting with the cashier. And this person is falling on hard times because they're trying to keep up two different relationships. Probably even more than that. You being told to love yourself first. Because honestly, this person is deceiving you. Two timing you. Unrequited love is on the board, my love. I ain't telling you no lie. It's split down the middle. 
He's, he or she is giving love to you and somebody else. But is it even love? It's an illusion. A real illusion. And you're wrapped up in it. And you know damn well you deserve more. In the end, you're going to end up releasing this person. And you're going to end up single. Because anybody who has any morals wouldn't be putting you through what they're, what they're honestly putting you through. You're being told to let this person go. Because you can't trust them. You can't trust this person. And for some of you all, this person is honestly engaged in a, in a marriage, in a long-term relationship, and you're just a side piece and you don't even know it. You're literally just a side piece. Don't be, no, so don't be nobody's side piece, Capricorn. New love. <clears throat> this person may be married as well. Like I said. New love for Capricorn. <clears throat> this person want me to shut up. Oh my God, I'm exposing too much. Like I'm going to shut up. New love for Capricorn. New love for Capricorn. Woo! New love for Capricorn. <laughs> New love for Capricorn. Oh no. New love for Capricorn. New love for Capricorn. Y'all already know what I'm going to say. Fuck this person that they, that um you used to love so bad. Because the reason why I'm saying it is because you got somebody from your past that's holding on to you. And when you cut off this fire sign, they're going to be holding on to you. Trying to reach out every once in a while to see if there's a, sl a sliver of hope that you will give them another chance. This person from the past wants a second chance. <laughs> but baby, I would say step into your singleness. If you're dealing with a fire sign that's giving you shaky vibes, flighty vibes, that you, you feel like this person's keeping something from you, go through their phone or it just address it. And if it seems like they're trying, they're still trying to keep a lie going, let it go. Let them go. Now, when it comes to somebody from your past, oh baby, you already know what I'm going to say. No, mm -mm. because you deserve a love, a strong, healthy love, not somebody who's damaged and don't give a fuck about it. Don't give a fuck to change. OK, not nobody that's codependent on everybody's attention and an attention seeking ass whore. Somebody who wants to control you, but don't even but can't even control what's in between their legs, though. Somebody who keeps multiple relationships going to the point where they lose money more they 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 be lose they they be spending money like water somebody who's trustworthy not somebody who you can't trust somebody who only has a love for you a flame that burns for you so be be very careful of these exes coming back and be careful of this fire sign because honestly you're better off alone until somebody who's worth you who you can trust comes along. And that's a fact. Let's get you some advice. Yeah, because this, this damn fire sign is an energy vampire and a player. Know what that means? It's not just you they screwing. It's not you. It's not just you they using. It's not just you they getting some type of validation and gratification from. Baby, I couldn't even, they probably can't even count on one one hand how many people they got behind your back. You're the side piece and you don't even know it. And for most of you, and for some of you all, you do know it. And you're thinking that this person is going to change and pick you. They're not. They're not. They're only going to, they're only going to keep you around until something new and better comes along. And they're going to leave you heartbroken once they use you up. Mm -mm -mm. Give me some advice for Capricorn. Give me some advice for Capricorn. This person gonna leave you fucked up in the head if you if you're not careful. Real fucked up. Drinking, smoking, losing yourself. Ooh, this person you're dealing with a charming devil. Somebody who talks to talk, but don't walk the walk. Capricorn, please, 
Don't allow this person to bring you through the dirt, to drag you through the mud. This person is only around for the benefit of themselves. This is a user who's given to two, probably probably even more. Be careful this person may have, end up bringing you home an STD. You see that fishy. You see something fishy. And something's very fishy about this person that you're dealing with. The reason why it's fishy is because this person has multiple relationships going on. And you're just a side piece. This is a two-timer. This person... All I'm going to say is, if you love yourself, Capricorn, you wouldn't be in this relationship right now. You wouldn't be in it. No, it's not a relationship. You just think it is. You wouldn't be dealing with this situation right now because it's not benefiting you. You're giving your love to a snake, somebody who's lying to you and backstabbing you behind your back, even though they, even though they know your worth. But do you, Capricorn? I can't. I, 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 I don't want to hear it. Because if you're allowing this person to manipulate you, gaslight you, and play you, I don't think you know your worth. If you're letting this person use you, I don't think you know your worth. I'm going to need you to step back into your power, Capricorn. Take it back. Take all the love, affection, finances, anything that you're giving to this person back. Because honestly, baby, they're in your way. They're in your way. Now let's get some tea on this person. Y'all want to expose this person? Somebody from the past wants your attention. And also this fire sign always seeks attention from somebody else. They're not shit. And they're only holding on to you because they need closure. And this person is... They're only they're holding on to you. They're with you until they find something new and better. New and better. This person that you once dealt with, the past person, sitting around miserable without you, trying to get trying to come back into your life and get another chance with you. Uh uh. This fire sign is not your soulmate, and they damn sure not your twin flame. Only thing they want from you is sex. They're a liar. But yeah, this person may sweep you off your feet, but they're low vibrational. And you can do better. You're being told to refrain from giving this person your all because all they're going to bring you and have brung you is heartbreak and drama. This person doesn't even do for you as much as they do for everybody else. And how this person makes their money to be able to keep up with a lifestyle, this person does scams and frauds. No good all the way around the board. No good for you. I'm going to start with this. Give me some angel messages for Capricorn. I don't like this person. And if you allow yourself to be a plaything, a stepping stone, a side piece, then I'm going to need you to really evaluate your life. Because, baby, you deserve so much better than that. And you are so much more than that. Give me some angel messages for Capricorn. Give me some angel messages for Capricorn. You're literally being guided away from this person. This person is taking away your stability and your security. Don't worry about what's going to happen next. Just know that you're on the right track. Mm -hmm. And y'all, I'm going to say this one for last. Okay. But anyway, you got new beginnings coming. Protection against any evil. Self-expression. You need to start expressing yourself, especially to this person that thinks that they can play you. And understand that you're going through another spiritual awakening where you're gonna where you're gonna really come out of this situation 
brand new brand new this is a lesson of a lifetime where you learn not only your worth you figure out what a two-timer is because i don't think you know that you're being two-timed and love bombed because you are and if you're wondering and worried about surviving and feeling stuck and worried about just getting by financially just know that it's going to be okay everything is working in your favor and you know why i say that you already know 11 11 it's a capricorn thing make a wish for me <sighs> by the power of two i already know it's gonna come to you so yeah make you a wish a wish that's gonna actually grant itself now let's get you a take a takeaway give me a takeaway message for capricorn Give me a takeaway message for Capricorn. Give me a takeaway message for Capricorn. What's the message that Capricorn needs to take away from this message? I heard a loud stop. You're being told to realign your chakras because you're you're off balance, especially if you allow this bullshit. As well as drink more water. Stop all that drinking because that's also throwing off your chakras. Okay? Which means it's throwing off your intuition as well. You probably would, been, would have been able to weed out this fucking loser if you wasn't drinking so much and if you wasn't, you know, in touch with yourself. It's time to get back to self, Capricorn. And this is my advice to you. Don't be get don't don't allow this person to continue to two time you. Anyway, Capricorn, this was your reading, and I hope that you got everything that you need to know. And you already know what I'm going to say. I want to thank you all for the love and support, the donations that you all do give me. And if you want to find me on social media or get your girl on a phone call for a personal reading, everything is in my description. And be and just stand by. Stand by. P.O. Box coming soon. Bye, my loves.